So imagine this. You finished creating your digital product and now you have to write a headline, something inviting people or at least to help them recognize what your product does for them. We're gonna talk about four elements you need to have on your offers promise that will help people make a purchase decision. I'm not gonna talk about convincing people. I'm not gonna talk about any hack. It's not a hack. It's a little formula to help you formulate Genius. the offer's headline, the offer's promise. That's what we call it. That's what I call it. I want you to get used to a few terms that I'm gonna use here. The first one of them is the vehicle. Vehicle? I don't know how to pronounce it, but like a car or a plane. And that is your actual product. Your product is what will carry people from point A to point B. So through a transformation. And we are talking digital products. I'm talking digital products specifically because that's what I am all about. But you can also apply this to, for example, your physical products when you are creating a description for an e-commerce store or your services. The same formula will work. Maybe you will have to just tweak a few things. Then we have the destination, which is point B. Okay. Anything before point A is going to be done through your content. It's going to be done through your narrative. And that's something for a complete different video. Not going to talk about it now. I'm talking specifically how to write the headline and the promise. So point B is a destination. So I call it that the Rome and I call it the Rome for a few reasons. One, because we're Italiano. <laughs> Two, because it's a popular tourist destination. It's a popular holiday destination. The Rome isn't sold to you. So a trip to Rome isn't sold to you as a trip to Rome. It is sold to you as memories. The good times you're gonna spend with your loved one, usually it's a very romantic destination, or with your family, are what are portrayed, is portrayed to you. So when agencies, they want to sell a trip, they're going to sell, they're going to show you the emotions attached to that trip. They're not going to tell you that, you know, Whoa. it's just a really great place for tourist destinations. And who is doing that is doing terrible copy. It might have worked once, but now you really have to involve people in those feelings. So that's why we call it the destination. So you need to have point A, which is a vehicle. Vehicle, vehicle, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. And your point B in mind. So you need to formulate that sort of image for your product. So for example, when I sell my mentoring, I am selling an image of people that want to work from anywhere. I don't care if you, your dream is to have a home office and that's what you want, that's what you're gonna have. If your dream is to work from a five-star hotel, that's what you're gonna have. That's what I'm gonna help you build. It's the geographical freedom. So all those situations, it's called semiotics, it will be portrayed <laughs> through any sort of sensorial experience. So sounds, image, even smells if that's something that, you know, could someday be. <laughs> so pause the video, figure point A and point B and write that down. Your vehicle and your destination, your Rome. What is your Rome? Then I want you to describe the problem that you're solving. What are the solutions that your product offers? If you're doing a physical product, this could be a little harder if it's just, for example, clothing or jewelry. 
And what you're gonna describe here isn't so much a problem, but portraying, again, you're gonna portray the destination, okay? So some people might wanna have a certain kind of look or they want to portray a certain feeling through their look and that's what you're gonna write. I know it's really subjective, but that's an exercise that you do not have to get right at first, okay? You're gonna fine tune your copy always, 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 always through testing. You're going to do testing with these things. Whether it's an e-commerce, whether it's the landing page text, you're always testing these things. And at some point I can teach how you can know if your copy is sticking through data because data won't lie to you. People might portray, if you talk to them, they might portray their problem in a different light and in a different way or they might depending what it is because they feel ashamed or because they feel scared their problem that they define isn't actually the real problem so and i've spoken about this before so sometimes someone who is not sleeping well the problem is not that they are sleeping badly it's because well they're sleeping badly because they are the yeah, hell did, did I, I do, do? They are not sleeping well because they have their nose stuck on their phone before they go to bed or they're drinking too much caffeine, but they don't want to admit that to you or to anyone. They don't want to admit their own failures. They don't want to see themselves as a failure. No one wants to feel that way. So the tendency that these people have, the peep that we have, everybody does that is to put the blame externally. So you have to define the problem and the, well, the real problem as well. It's helpful to have both in mind. So that's the first or technically the third thing you're gonna define. Then you as an expert, you're gonna define how you solve that problem. So a travel agency solves the problem by offering a package, a value package of a trip, sightseeing opportunities, hotel, five-star hotel, sometimes concierge, concert, 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 here we go again. (sighs) You get it, whatever. I solve the problem by giving, with my mentoring, by giving people a bespoke experience on creating the infinite product belt team <laughs> by creating their product belt by creating their learning pyramid how they are gonna which is essentially a funnel but their belt their selection of offers with them one on one face to face through four meetings and then three months of, so it's, it's essentially what you're offering, your entire offer. The key here, after you describe this, is to quantify it somehow. Whether it's by time, whether it's by what they're going to get in result. And that's technically the third, or it's not the third anymore because we did A and B. And then the... Well, it's the fifth. Fifth? Yeah thing we are describing. So you're gonna describe how you're gonna solve that problem, what you're offering, your deliverables, and you're gonna look to what you can metricify, (laughs) to what you can put a number on. Create your own metrics. Try, so time and money are usually the metrics that people get emotionally attached to and that catch their their attention more try and look at it with those eyes and what are they getting out of it what is the result of their trip 
Well, a trip to Rome would be the memories, right? You want to have those memories with you. So a travel agency might even offer a super special package. And if they are do not doing this yet, they should be. But somehow have a... I think it would be interesting for like an experience. Have like a day where they could just take professional photos and videos and make like a little mini trip movie or at least have somebody who's going to work through their photos that if there isn't a travel agency doing this yet and if you're a travel agent apply this to your business right now okay i just came up with this strategy actually add an offer that would be the result of course of the trip in a way because <laughs> once the trip is gone the trip is gone Right. Once a mentorship with me, once the four meetings and the three months and all the other things that are in the offer is gone, what is left of it is the result, right? Is the consequence of those actions. So to a travel agent, to somebody who takes a trip with them, why not have a service included in the package? And maybe even an optional thing is to have like a day or two with a photographer professional photographer and a videographer who is going to take nice pro photos and then make a little compilation of the trip with whatever you get served from the client, right? If you get all the photos and the videos, that could be something interesting, right? If So that people don't need to worry about it. Everybody wants to post like a mini reel on social media. Include that. That would be so awesome. And then an extra fee for somebody who wants a professional photographer for one or two days. And then have people sign up to do those videos and photos. Look at that. I like it. Anyway, last we have the timeline. So the timeline for my mentorship would be four meetings which can be taken every month, every two weeks. And then after that, three months of one-on-one, just like WhatsApp follow-up. I'm available for three months to answer whatever question, to look over copy, to look over the offer, to look over the strategy for the launch, to help read the metrics from the launch. Ideally, you launch and then there is a three months. It can happen in many different ways. What is the timeline then? It's four meetings plus three months. What is the timeline? Again, trying to quantify that offer in some way. So the result actually, I forgot to mention, is something monetary as well. So I say that if you're investing in a mentorship or in a trip, well, in the trip, the result is not financial, but in a mentorship, it is with me it's gonna be financial you're gonna have at least your money back or double it so try and quantify if that person well try and quantify monetarily that result so here is what a sentence putting all this together would look like this is not necessarily what you're going to put on your landing page, for example, on your sales page, right? Landing page, sales page. But it is a good start. From there, you can develop your copy and test variations. That's a little bit more advanced talk. So it's going to be for another day. I never know how to finish those videos. So bye. I'm lying. I want you to do all the stuff that people ask you to do in these videos like comment subscribe talk to me follow me on instagram yada 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 it's important for the algorithm to know that you like this content it's important for me to know that you like this content it's gonna also push to other people who is struggling to create an offer title okay <laughs>